We're watching shares of ARM today as its post-IPO lockup expires. Deirdre Bosa taking a closer look at SoftBank's stake in the company. For today's tech check, this stock has just rocketed higher since its IPO D. It absolutely has, and so it's arguably facing now its biggest test as a public company. The float, it was small to begin with when it listed on the NASDAQ last September, meaning that there has been a relatively small percentage of the company's total shares available for trading. Now that insiders, that's early investors and employees, now that they can sell, we could see more volatility. And this is a stock that, as Courtney alluded to, has more than doubled since its IPO, making it tempting for some to lock in gains and sell. Now, it's down 15 percent in the month leading up to this expiration. The big question is SoftBank. Led by Masasan, it owns 90 percent of Arm. And as we've seen in the past, Masasan likes to do bold things, often drawing on his winners. Take Alibaba, our arguably his most famous investment, Masa has nearly completely drawn down that huge stake over the years to pay off debt, repurchase shares of SoftBank, and beef up its second vision fund. Now that Arm is the new golden goose or the crown jewel, will he do the same thing? Now, execs, they were asked directly during the earnings call in February. They were elusive, saying that they could utilize the assets in different ways, including as collateral for a margin loan. Now, for other investors, though, there is this question of rotation. Do you lock in Arm's outsized gains? Gains and put them into other semis. There's certainly a case to be made that Arm is punching way above its weight. Its forward price-to-earnings ratio is more than triple that of NVIDIA's. That is just a massive premium. And meanwhile, there's an ETF that is giving investors two times the daily return of NVIDIA. It is extremely buzzy. It has gone just parabolic. It's ticker NVDL. It has grown to $1.4 billion under management since launching at the end of 2022. And it's, uh, it has nearly tripled this year. It's up, as you can see, nearly 12 percent again today. Arm's largest insider zone, this is key, they may be more strategic, and thus they may be more willing to hold on for the longer run. According to facts that the top three insiders in Arm, it's Mubadala, Abu Dhabi Sovereign Wealth Fund, Alphabet, and NVIDIA itself. And guys, what we learned last quarter through Arm's blowout results is that Arm's CPUs complement NVIDIA's chips for AI work in data centers. So the AI proposition, the AI halo around this company has only been growing, but that much of a premium to NVIDIA, some investors are going to want to look twice.